Darling. Darling. Do you remember in 1995 you said you wouldn't get married to me if I did another Chelsea Flower show? Mm -hmm. And I did it in 1996. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it again. I'm the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. I am set my confession in so long. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Is that right? I've been cagey about the fact that I do intend to display a garden at the 2012 Chelsea Flower Show. I've known for a long time. I've known since last Chelsea. That's when the inspiration came, walking up and down the banks of the river outside Chelsea. I don't know if it's the Victoria Bridge or the Albert Bridge or whatever, but it's an iron bridge. And it's old. And it was undergoing renovation. It was covered in scaffolding. And just the way it was, it was a nearly in a pyramid shape. It was going up at an angle. Lots of different levels for the men to work on. And I started to say a few snaps on the phone. And that made me think instantly, that's my garden. That's what I want to do next year. Imagining building a garden that was a bit like that. I want to do a garden that reaches for the sky. I want to do a hanging garden, a contemporary version of a fabled you know, vision of paradise with hanging plants, with lots of different tiers, lots of different levels, lots of different gardens. I want to explore the notion of this temporary architecture and plants in the sky. Last year, I enticed like a spider with a silk web and some people who own a great company called Westland Horticulture. They've sponsored me before. I've done a very pretty garden for them. Edward, the main man, has a bit of a twinkle in his eye. He, He's a brilliant businessman. He, God knows everything about the garden industry. And he always makes it fun to work with his company. So what I did was I lured him and his mate, who's in charge of the money, Keith, into our garden at Chelsea. I hoisted it like a pirate, 25 metres in the air. I produced a contract and I wouldn't let them down until they said, yeah, we'll sponsor you next year. That is what has happened. I got a contract for them to sponsor a garden in 2012. No matter what it looked like, I had their names. X marked the spot. We're on the road, still going through, jumping the hoops for the Royal Horticultural Society. Everybody's scared in case it falls down, but it won't. It's going to be magnificent. So I'm going to create Westland's magical tower garden, which will be, well, one garden on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, going right into the sky. A bit like a club sandwich.